I woke up at quarter to five to my early morning alarm, got dressed, grabbed some breakfast and made my way to the bus stop. My bus was running ten minutes late. This made me feel really anxious. I paid my fare and I wished for the bus to magically arrive on time. As I was late, it was eight past six in the morning when I arrived at the factory. I got a strike and was threatened that I wouldn't have a job to come back to if I kept up with this. Not a great start to my first day. Everyone looked so distant on their machines. I tried smiling at an older woman, but she refused to look at me. The only thing with a voice, it seems, is the morning radio. My hands are so sore. I can feel each individual pinprick on them as they're swelling up. The radio chimes and the tinny noise coming from a hundred sewing machines are driving me crazy. They are droning on and on and getting into my head. I'm exhausted. Everyone else looks it too. We've just been told that we've got to stay on until half seven this evening, despite already doing a ten hour day. There isn't going to be any overtime pay for this. It was a hard first day, but I was able to collect my wages at the end of overtime. I went into the office where the manager sat. He barely looked at me, after he'd counted the money and dropped it all on my side of the desk. It looked pitiful. This is all I'd earn. This is what I'm worth, thought to myself. Three months later, I feel drained and dehumanised. This job is torturous and I don't have anybody to turn to. My parents rely on this money so much. After searching relentlessly on the internet at home, I came across something that could be of some help. It just requires me to fill out a form. Name, Navia Arnand. I am contacting you because I think I might be a victim.